Hi. Hi, Anna Pama. This is a, I'm, I'm in work today. I'm in actual work today. Oh, that's very nice. And mm. uh, uh, is it a new thing or it's just that, um, I mean, normally, you, are you required to come? Coincided. Yeah. So it's due to come today. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, have other people come to the campus these days or how is it these days there? Uh, it's mixed. Yeah. So it's, it's, I'm surprised how busy it is today. Um, but but yes, it's nice to see people. Yes, I know the feeling. It's nice to see people. I think that kind of sums our feeling of how we feel these days. Mm, <laughs> Some uh, sometimes I'm asked, uh, how does it feel to be back in the campus? But then I think to myself that uh, otherwise, uh, you know, you get in. I think it's very important to interact as human beings. So uh, I've got a very fluid uh, session planned and I've got my uh, so uh, when your students, I mean, even if we have five, seven, whatever, because anyway, we'll be recording. So we can always share with anybody who wants to kind of look at joining us in the future. Yeah, they have been watching the videos as well. OK, great. So um, uh, today uh, I'll convert this into a YouTube video and this is a complete introdu introduction of all that there is to Amity and to just to kind of remove the boredom. I have uh, included some nice videos and uh, you know you can enjoy. You'll get the feeling that you're all already almost there. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll start whenever you want me to. I'm ready when you are. OK, so let's go because anyway we are recording and we'll share the recording with you. So let's go. Uh, OK, so uh, we belong to something called the Amity Education Group and it's uh, really without exaggeration one of the leading education groups of India. Of course, this is our founder president. Nothing can start without him. And that is the I always have told you that India is all about that. I think I just kind of lost the connection for a bit. So um, I always told you that India is about numbers. And so if you look at uh, these numbers, I'm sure from UK standards, they'll astound you. So that's one size 75,000 brilliant students, 6,000 faculty. We have 11 Indian universities. So there's one in Noida, which is the parent university where I'm sitting. There's a Gurgaon, a Greater Noida, Lucknow, Jaipur, Mohali, Mumbai. These are all um, uh, capitals of states. So like you have the United States of America, you we have you can be con considered a, a union of states and all these are capitals of those states. So 11 universities there, 150 institutions. So just think of any, uh, uh, you know, any possible um, um, biotechnology, microbiology, management, anything that you can think of. We have an institution there. Now, talking about overseas campus, and this is what uh, Karen was talking to me the other day, and this is one I want you to uh, kind of, uh, this may interest your students more. So we are in London, we're in Singapore, we have in New York, in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, Mauritius, South Africa, Kenya, Amsterdam, uh, San Francisco, and Just muted, Anna Pama. OK, so uh, then there are uh, there are these schools, 28 schools, 2000 acres of campuses, 20 million square feet of buildings, 400 programs, lots of patents from us. Mm, I've contributed to to these this number, 4000 case studies, 300 research projects. 300,000 alumni across the world. And of course, we are ranked as number one not for profit private university in India. So, those are the locations of those various campuses I just told you. There's so many of them. Um, we are a very, um, you know, very value driven and very. Hi, Helen. 
so uh, uh, have you just joined because i just want to look at want you to look at the numbers for a second that's the kind of uh, strength i come from and that is why i have titled this uh, whole presentation as the might of the amity universe so um, we are very value driven each one of us and we have something called the amity human value quarter also so very value driven and lots of these activities which are conducted to kind of ensure that uh, you know we are uh, the values and ethics are in place lots of these accreditations so many of them are indian so this ugc or nac or all of these are indian but you would also recognize the acbsp the iet the bsi which is the british standard institutes we are listed in the united nations list of global universities we are member of the commonwealth universities we are a member of the international association of universities i'm skipping out the indian ones maybe they don't make so much of a uh, sense to you but okay premier status from accreditation from uh, acsic uk and we are the asia's only not prof profit university to get us regional accreditation so a lot of accreditations have gone in there's a huge body who looks after that we are ranked among the top 3% universities globally so that's our qs and the times university i know rankings are a little bit a matter of debate and discussion but that's where we are we are only we are india's only university with the us and uk accreditation so we have got the basc and we've got the qa global also Uh, in the global university employ employability rankings 2020 uh, we've got these these are the only six institutions from india which are ranked among the top in the world and we rank there and those iits and iims are indian institutes of technologies which you know are world and indian institutes of management which you know are world renowned uh, you know institutes so we are among the best of india so that's a local uh, accreditation that happens the nac and you've got an a plus there with that kind of 3.27 cgpa so a plus there again we've got the national intellectual property award 2020 for doing all that many so we were ranked in the top most uh, iits in uh, uh, you know iits and iims for uh, patents and commercialization so again a lot of awards there we have got the online mba program ranked 37 worldwide and that's only one from india in the qs global online mba ranking that's a lot because being in the top 50 is a big deal so this is a very famous uh, indian magazine called the india today and we've been consistently being ranked number one private university and that's a ninth year and that what you see on the on the on the um, uh, screen is the 9th august 2021 which is uh, addition that happened again ninth year running not number one not a profit private university uh, we've got uh, the best campus award in 2019 by forbes which is again a world renowned uh, uh, publication for amity university dubai beautiful campus so We are LEED Platinum certified. That's your green building. If I could show you, we have got solar panels everywhere, and you know India has uh, the green gold. We have so much of sunlight that our entire campus is self-sufficient. I'm just going to give you a little glimpse of these campuses. So that this is this is the parent campus where I'm sitting. That many number of buildings. I told you everything about India is about numbers. So if you see there, the one the building that you see on the front. with that photograph that uh, that uh, uh, that big photograph that's where i'm sitting so probably somewhere there is where that's the uh, the f block of uh, the management school so that's the greater noida campus it's a parent campus about it's a 21 acre campus uh, lakhnow campus lakhnow is where i was born so it's a beautiful white house looking campus uh, the jaipur campus again if you see it's a it's a very uh, Jaipur is a city of heritage, very heritage-oriented campus. Gurgaon, the city of dreams, as it's called, and very corporate-linked. Again, 110 acres, so we're talking of huge sizes. 20-acre sports complex. 
We have a Mumbai campus, 30 acre campus. Gwalior, 100 acre. It's a huge campuses that we're talking of. Kolkata campus, uh, Raipur campus, the Jharkhand campus, huge. The Patna campus, uh, Mohali, 40 acre campus. And these are all these uh, campuses that are there in Andhabad, Bangalore, Bhubaneswar, Chennai, Kochi, Indore. These are all big cities of India. Now this is probably will be of more interest to you. So global campuses, two in US, UK, London, Netherlands, Singapore. Beautiful campus in Singapore, Kenya. I've been there. Mauritius, South Africa, Uzbekistan, huge, beautiful campus. And of course, Dubai. Um, so you see those uh, pictures. Uh, we are in Amity, London. That if you see that, that's right next to the Oxford Street. Been there many, many times. So that's Dubai and that's New York. In New York, we are in Long Island. Lots of schools also because we pride ourselves from having from KD to PhD. So we are there in Abu Dhabi, in Dubai, in um, Amsterdam. Those are schools and these uh, governments have actually invited us to uh, start schools there. Um, so Sharjah, Singapore, South Africa, all these are schools, preschools and schools. Now this I think uh, Simon would be happy to see that we we feature in this. So we've got a lot of these international funded projects and uh, you cry if you see uh, the G point is University of Winchester. <laughs> Simon and I can take credit of that. And uh, the going global grant where we are sitting at the moment, number three there. So right extreme. I don't make these presentations, otherwise I would have put them on number one. But anyway, we, at least we are there. These are global level presentations which are used across the world. So I'm quite happy to be there, even if I'm on number three. Uh, we've got this Pan-African Network project, even I've taught there. Beautiful project. It aims at uh, giving um, the Africans uh, good education, a lot of um, technology. We uh, teach here and goes all the way to all kinds of uh, countries of Africa. We have a very, very, very strong incubator. So lots of businesses being incubated in the incubator. So that's 300 plus companies already incubated and about 40 million investments that's happened across 17 cities and five countries all across the world. Lots of training, so lots of training. So there's uh, all these uh, skill training because uh, I think everybody agrees that, you know, it's not enough to have just theory or uh, just too much of talking. So a lot of skill building is done so that people are, you know, uh, you know, uh, they can they are empowered to earn their own living. And not just look for jobs, but provide jobs. Uh, so I told you think of a discipline. We are there. So from biotechnology to food technology to organic agriculture to mass communication, English law, space science, virology. We are just about there in all possible areas. So this is what's written courses virtually in every field for solar to virology to horticulture. I mean, the list is endless. I'm sure they left out of you. We do a lot of value addition, so we teach you foreign languages. Uh, we teach you communication skills, behavioral skills, human values, etc. etc. All of it is taught. Um, lots of collaborations that's happening, lots of research. A uh, lot of these dignitaries, uh, some of them may be uh, Indian, so you may not recognize them, but they are ministers in the government and these people you will re recognize. So uh, we have Professor Sir Harry Croto and uh, he's from Florida State University, Professor Werner Arbor. These are all honorary professors with us, including uh, Simon. Simon is an honorary professor with us and uh, Professor Yuanti Lee. Uh, these are Nobel laureates associated with us. Sir Richard J. Roberts, he's a Nobel Prize winner of medicine, and Dr. Kajatita, he's from physics. Lots of ambassadors have been called. We have very, very strong relationships with. Uh, uh, so I'm just. Uh, just um, um, yeah. Um, so um, a lot of these ambassador uh, uh, series that's happening. Uh, and if you just give me 30 seconds, I'll uh, invite uh, 
Professor Kritika Das Gupta, who's just joining because she will do a part of the presentation. She's looking after the corporate uh, research center so that um, she will tell you about all amity. Yeah, so I'll just go back till the time she shares. She uh, joins in. Yeah. But um, just sorry for that interruption. Uh, Ashna, just make sure Kritika Ma'am is converted into attendee the minute she joins in. Uh, in a uh, presenter, the minute she joins. In. So, uh, my slides will visible. sharing them again so that we OK, so lots of ambassadors. We have very cordial relationships with all ambassadors across the world from Ecuador to um, Russia to New Zealand to US. And I'm uh, to Finland to Netherlands. They've all been to our campus. It's not that they were there some virtually and I'm sure you will. I will also find so there's Saudi, there's Poland and of course you will know him. He's, he's joined us on many times. He has come physically to the campus as well as joined online. So he's Mr. Alexander, and I believe he was a teacher in his earlier avatar, so he was very happy to talk to us. Lots of placements, and that is why I've, I've uh, invited uh, Madam uh, Kritika Das Gupta. She's heading the placements here. So she'll talk about placements and more importantly, what we will give you in terms of industry visits. Um, so very, these are big names. Some of them may be Indian. Some of them would be uh, maybe. Some of them you would probably. Uh, uh, rec uh, recognize, but most of them are uh, many of them would be Indian. And of course, international links. So you will have probably the logos of every university that you can think of right there on your screen. Lots of them. So from RMIT to just about every single uh, really important university would be there. And uh, we've conducted lots of these uh, trainings. Uh, we have for armed forces, for um, you know all kinds of officers. Oh, we do a lot of social work, and that is why when we talked of sustainability, we said that uh, we know how it is. Uh, we are very committed to it and lots of these uh, schools which you run for underprivileged uh, people and in villages, in healthcare and so on. And um, of course, our founder president has been awarded with many, many uh, awards. And we are looking at a future like that, where we will have 100 campuses across the country and 35 universities and many, many, many more foreign campuses up will be planned. So if you will just let me give me a second, I'll just see if she's joined. And because I want her to take the next presentation, she will tell you a little bit about our placement process. And also um, uh, because we have planned a lot of uh, industry visits for you. And um, those industry visits will be executed by her. So I just want to see if she's joining. Otherwise, I've just got a couple of videos. I'll just run a cup of video till then. Interesting video. Uh, an uh, interesting video in the sense that this is where you will enjoy the campus. A video tour. And here it starts. So is it shared? No, not, not shared. Not shared. Okay. One sec. I'll just reshare it. I'm also keeping an eye out. Ashna, are you there in the meeting? Ashna, just uh, just keep an eye. Yeah. Sure. So my Pritika Das Gupta has already joined. So here. Madam Das Gupta, welcome.
Madam Das Gupta, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. So, Good Madam Das Gupta is. Good evening. Uh, is, uh, she's uh, she's the head of um, placements, a very sought after figure because she um, places just for everybody. A very powerful figure because she has got industry licensing with just about every big name or big brand that there is. And um, um, Kritika, why you set up your thing? I'll just run a small video of about about two three minutes till then you can just get your background done. I'll just okay. share the background with you. So um, just a very, very small video. Here it goes. Is it shared now? No. Still not shared. OK. Kritika, Madam Kritika, and uh, she will take the next presentation. I'm just sharing the background with her so that she can just quickly come on board. And um, she um, she looks after the um, placements. She'll just run a small presentation about the kind of work she does. I'm, I'm going to unshare my screen and. 
after she's done, I'll give you a little bit more about, I'll just run a little very quick presentation with lots of photographs. No talking. The less we talk, the better it is. Let the photos, they say pictures speak a thousand words. So I'm just going to let Kritika speak a thousand words. Ma'am, we are ready when you are. I am, I have not got the background. Uh, so well, I'm just using uh, a blur uh, background. WhatsApp? I've just WhatsApp to you. Is that OK or shall I mail it to you? Oh, how will shall I use the WhatsApp on the laptop? I'll just I needed a mail. Uh, I'll just mail it. No problem. So while you do that, I'll run just one more. So that's your background, man. By the time you set, yeah, here. Sorry for these technical, uh, you know, everybody knows this. I've been kicked out of my own classes sometimes. <laughs> students being students. So I've learned these tricks of ensuring that they don't throw you out, they don't mute you. <laughs> so it's quite fun, actually. Matt, would you want me to uh, run one more small presentation or are you ready? My screen meanwhile I'm just sharing my screen yeah sure no problem till that time we can always have a little bit of a chat well I can always say Anna Pama that the um the company visit things are really interesting because as we put together that touring bid um the emphasis is on a uh, a traineeship rather than a study visit because a lot of these students will be graduating at the same time. So those company visits are the backbone of the trip now. Yeah. So uh, that is why in terms I'm of getting the funding. So it's it's great to see it, great to hear it, and yeah. Yeah, that is why I specifically got Madam Kritika uh, here because she has liaising with unlimited number of companies. I think any big name she's liaising. That, and she's just going to run a little bit of her presentation, which I'm sure she's. she's I think about. I think possibly I've met Kritika once before. Yes, you must um, have. You must have. Yeah. She's a very powerful figure in our Amity Business School, and um, does a lot of things. And I'm sure um, I must have invited uh, her in the earlier program also. I make sure I invite her because yeah, because I recognise the name. And yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, but a few years ago, but yeah. Yeah. So. What is, um, I mean, any kind of um, education without training and industry interface? Yeah, so here she comes. Yes, ma'am, welcome. And Simon has just recognized you. So I know Kritika. I said, of course, she's there in all important programs. So you are, are you able to see my screen? No. Uh, I'm, I'm able to see you, but I can't see your screen. Okay. But we have all the just reshare the presentation. So I've unshared mine, so. Yeah. You'll enjoy. And we can always um, after. I mean, anyway, uh, we can always make this a little bit of a um, Q&A also. If somebody, some student wants to ask something, you're most welcome. All your students have got uh, uh, they can talk or interact. I don't know, but I'm unable to share my content. It's already on the desktop, but it's not getting shared. I think just a second. Yeah. Now, some days technology are just it's just not our friend. Technology. I, had, I have this yeah. problem a lot. I think if you have a problem, just mail it to me. I'll share it for you. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, just send it to me. I'll share it. You know, I had Professor Brown joining me about uh, for that next session of MILS about an hour ago. He's one of the biggest there is. He's for 50 years. He's been in organization psychology and um, I was <coughs> so bad because he couldn't share his presentation. Luckily, I had one of his older presentations, so I ran it for him. I said, never mind. Just take uh, you know, once I have. Yeah.
Krutika, by the time you made it, shall I run one more presentation from my side? Just mail it. I'll, issue. I'll till then run one. Have more you received one. it? Not yet. I shared yeah, it I've with got, you. I've got. <coughs> so I'll, I'll run your presentation. Um, don't worry. And um, I'm running it from my side. And you can uh, talk, talk us through there. Yeah. Are you able to share it? Yes, yes, I'm just sharing it. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay, meanwhile, Simon and Lida, I hope I'm pronouncing your names correctly. Uh, so that's really very good evening to both of you and thank you for coming on this platform. Sorry for the technical glitch that happened. Yes, so just to give you a brief uh, corporate resource center, this is this. I think uh, I'm unable to see the presentation, ma'am. Your yeah, now it's fine. So uh, we CRC is Corporate Resource Center. It's a unique concept that was launched in 1995 with a vision of our doctor, uh, of our founder president, honorable founder president of the Amity Group, that's Dr. Ashoke Chauhan, for developing relationship between the industry and the academy. Next slide, please. So what all we do, what all activities we do through this cell is we organize guest lectures, forums, corporate lectures, MDPs, training and consultancies programs, alumni reunions, alumni forums, mentor and corporate meet, participation in extracurricular. So all apart from academy or whatever activities that we do to give an exposure to the students of the industry and the uh, you know corporate culture is through these activities like we have CEOs dinners, we have life projects, we have summer internship projects for the students. We give industry visits to our students just to give them a feel about the manufacturing unit of the organizations. So these are our alumina. Yeah, you can go forward. So these are our, some of our, uh, you know, um, alumni who are working at c senior levels in various corporates since we exist from 1995. So we have a lot of alumni working at very senior levels in the corporates, and they have been also, you know, helping us throughout for our students grooming as well as students, you know, placing in various organizations. Next slide, please. So we, as I told you, these are some of the glimpses of the forums and the lectures that we do across for our students in our seminar halls or in our um, auditoriums for our students. Next slide. So we have training and consultancy, consultancy programs with Tata Motors as well as we have, we, we've not got a screenshot of, we have a lot of programs running from our side with Indian oil corporation also. So these are training and consultancy programs with Union Bank, with Allahabad Bank. We do a lot of uh, programs, consultancy and training programs for their managers who joined them recently just to give them soft skills training or you know how to you know with the deals. So just to give training to the students, our faculties are involved with the corporate and the uh, to before they go for the jobs, you know, just to train them about the soft skills and how they can deal with the uh, dealers and with the uh, customers how they need to do. So these are the training programs that we associate with the corporates across. Then we have student participation for outdoor events. So we have a lot of activities that you know other institutes do or other organizations do. We have a lot of participation of our students in various events outside so that you know they have inter inter institute skills and they can you know have more that competitive ability that they can build up among themselves. Next slide. So we have a mentorship program, a unique mentoring program at Amity where we have four tier mentoring that we call. We have an industry mentor for our student. We have an al alumni mentor who've already passed out to just give a whole ho hand holding to them throughout the two years of MBA program and not the, just that. They are the mentors or their guides throughout their lives. We also have a faculty mentor for the students too. If they have any, you know, academic related query or they need assistance, they have a faculty mentor with them. Also, there is a parent mentor. Maybe my parent is a mentor for the other students. So it's how 
you know, we have a mentoring inter, uh, you know, uh, mentoring program for the students to give them a feel of, you know, giving them a, a shell, you know, just to protect them and give them guidance throughout their two years career in the in Amity. Next slide. We have these seminars and conferences across. We have marketing and retail summit. We have HR summit. We have doctoral program summit. So we have a lot of activities. We have a global leadership research conference which Simon must be knowing because he has been there. So th we have a lot of activities, research paper conferences, Renovoy. So a lot of uh, events across throughout the year just to give more exposure to our students. So as a part of the program, you know, we give industry visits also to our students. And even when we have exchange programs, we take the students, you know, coming from abroad to these organizations to give them visits in various organizations, as you're seeing across, just to give them a feel about how Indian, you know, companies work and operate. Next slide. So these are some of our top recruiters where we have Big fours as EY, PWC, Deloitte, Aon, Honda, Accenture. Then we have KPMG, Wipro, Reliance. So these are our, some of our glimpses of our recruiters that come to us and hire our students. <clears throat> also take students for internship and life projects to give them exposure. These are our summer intern partners. So we just put few partners just to give you an idea what sort of organizations come to Amity for hiring for internships and placements. So just to give you a glimpse, this is what Corporate Resource Center does and give exposure to our students. Thank you so much, ma'am. Um, Dr. Kritika, thank you so much. Um, if any any questions uh, for ma'am, she's, she's a brilliant, um, um, I think brilliant interface between the industry and us. She's got so many of them on very quick, so when we are when we are actually think planning of coming over, we can all have a meeting. We can work out. She'll have you know she'll have a bouquet of uh, you know industries for you. It will be probably your call which one you would want. I think it's an impressive list, Anna Pama and Kritika. It's like a yeah, <laughs> so it's like a um, a wonderful buffet of options, <laughs> which which are yeah, yes uh, really we fabulous. We want to overview. <laughs> Yeah, it's the, I think we, we dream about having such a, a depth and variety of connections like that. So it's it's really impressive. And I hope that the, the students of mine that are on can see this kind of employability value beyond studies, more internationally globalised and so on and so forth, that it's not just about visiting. It's about making partnerships, relationships, and you might be doing business in these kind of areas later on. Now, that's always been my long term vision about these kind of interactions is that uh, at some point there'll be a, a fabulous case study story from Brooks, for example, where a student has first got a taste of sort of um, Amity University and Delhi and the organisations and then moved into something that really interconnects the different cultures and that, that that's the so bit I look I forward just to, to. Just to give you a stink, uh, Simon, I'm also pursuing my PhD in the same field in industry and academia as an interface. How does that help in the growth of the organisation as an institution or higher education institution? Absolutely. It's, uh, yeah, so I mean, the employability aspects, uh, uh, it's one of our key drivers at the moment is that if you if I was to criticize education a little bit is that we're a bit too as a country by the way education focused and that industry connectivity is the bit that's obviously always been important and we could always be pushing to do more so I think uh, yeah so doing your sort of PhD in that area it makes sense it fits perfectly with what you're doing um, I think it'd be incre incredibly valuable, uh, sort of not just with Amity, but beyond as well. I mean, that ability to interface uh, yeah. business, uh, sort of the practice with education is, is well, it's, it's priceless, really, because, yeah, we strive so much to do it and relationships can come and go in organisations. So to do it over consistently over a time yeah. is, is beyond impressive. Yes, she's been there I don't know how many years now. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, uh, Kritika, with your permission, um, can I just run one very small presentation? Yes, and yes. We'll open for uh, Q&A. So, most of it has already been covered. I just want to, uh, you know, just for uh, sake of repetition, really. So, I'll just share the presentation. So, this is a tour of Amity presentation. We've already done this just to show you very quickly. So, Already said, members of our university, our founder president, our chancellor, our vice chancellor, Professor Sanjeev Bansal, you already know the dean. These are the building screenshots which we've already shown you, just to give you in picture so that if, if you, I know you can take a second to look at them. This is a huge library that we have called the Central Library. The students at work, the classrooms, the basic structure of classrooms. Interesting videos just to I'll just play them very short videos. That's that's for the, the even the dog parade. That's a campus look. I actually sent out students to do this so that you know you don't get pictures which are taken by professionals. Instead, you get what is actual. So that's those festivals I told you about. Again, a look. Students at work. Just look at the numbers. So again, a look of the various. This is Central Library. These are all phone taken shots. I've not used uh, you know, the one you see on websites. Our campus. This very short video. That's we have an Amity clinic in case you are worried about. I mean, God forbid if anybody needs anything, we have an inbuilt, uh, we have a clinic right there. Huge basketball court. Oh, sorry, that's a, sorry, football court. I'm not very sporty, so I got a little bit used up. That building that, so I finally found the basketball court. We also have basketball, tennis sports also. Back, you will see that. That's badminton happening. Oh. Central library. That's that. So that's thank you. And I'm done with my presentations. Um, I can uh, take any questions if anybody has any questions. I think the key thing is, Anna Pamela, that there's that kind of sense of uh, imagining you're there. And that's, you know, this this is where the, the students would be staying. And myself, to be honest, uh, and any other member of staff that might get involved. <laughs> so it's, it's we were so ready of... to receive you and the 
and the second wave. I mean, it was crazy. Mm. And it's, it's really nice to kind of get that. Um, I mean, the library looks like a shopping mall. It's so big. It be, it's, it's humongous. Um, and it's, yeah, it's that kind of sense to imagine, you kind of put yourself in that position then. I imagine myself with a group of students. Yes. Taking it all in and going, wow, we made yeah. it. We actually made it despite COVID-19, despite yeah. everything that's going on in the world. We made it. So it's a it's an exciting prospect to say the least to do something uh, that the of of the old world would be yes. such a phrase to use but it's what it feels like pre-2020. <laughs> uh, uh, Kritika they were supposed to come two years ago then last year it just kept snowballing till the time uh, we, uh, we are now looking at maybe next year uh, or a little I mean what do nobody can predict uh, these days now. But, uh, but we promise you whenever it is, it's going to be, uh, you know, I told you for us, uh, any any guest is God. So we look forward to uh, welcoming you to the campus and giving you everything. Also, apart from that, we'll take you as, as promised to all kinds of visits. We'll talk about that. We, there is uh, our, everything. We are, Delhi is very central. So the famous uh, Agra and the Taj Mahal is just about two or three hours away. The famous heritage city, Jaipur, where we have a campus, is another three hours away. Everything is three hours away. So we can decide on those things once we talk. Oh, definitely. And I want the students to kind of be a part of that discussion as well. Yes. You know, to kind of present um, back to the buffet, a buffet of options, and then they can, they can tell me um, and tell us what they would like to be kind of involved in and then kind of take it from there and obviously the the bigger and bolder the students want to be there might be more cost for them but they can they, we can kind of work that out to say you know plan it to say if you want to do this it will add this if you want to do that it will add this and here's how we build it in because four weeks there's, there's a lot to be crammed in from my point of view um and if i if i was in the student shoes i'd be like a sponge i'd be wanting to collect as many of those experiences as yes. possible because it it could be an absolutely once in a lifetime opportunity Actually. for them some will hopefully return and go back because they'll be like i have fallen in love with the place i must go back yes. and for others it might be the only time they ever see india uh, you just never know how it's going it to, how it's going to plan out i've traveled the world and for travel everything is great but uh, this is where my heart lies india is very very beautiful we have beautiful people like Kritika, we have beautiful festivals, we have lots of colours, everything is so beautiful about this place. And you will experience it when you come here. Absolutely, and India has been on my bucket list for a long time. So I, I've never been to India as yet. Uh, it's one of those exciting places to go. But somehow, uh, well, Covid has been the main reason, not, be, not being able to kind of do it as yet. So it's, yeah, I look forward to that being complete. And just to let you know, Anna Pama, that these um, bidding plans, they're in their final stages now at our end. So when we're plotting for the summer of 2023, that is becoming more and more of a fixed thing, May or June next year. Mm -hmm. um, and in the, ne the next few weeks, there's going to be a lot of um, solidifying of those plans. Yes. And then that's it. We're, we're, we're planning towards the trip rather than just talking about the possibility of the trip. Yes, yes, yes. So I think uh, it's a good time to say bye if there's nothing else. And um, I'm sure Kritika has got a, a meeting to run to, so I'm not older and it's time to say goodbye. In case there are any queries, we're always there. I'll convert this entire presentation into a YouTube video and we can share it among the students so that uh, and we're all our coordinates are always there with you. And uh, and I hope to meet you all very, very soon, including Helen. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Anna Pana. And thank you so much, Kritika, as well. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Kritika. Thank you for your time, Kritika. I know you're very busy. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. Thank you. Take care. See you all.